Today we're speaking with Hal Good, and we're going to discuss the future of cooperative purchasing. Uh, so, Hal, can you first uh, provide a brief background of yourself? Good morning, Dustin. Pleased to be uh, talking with you. Uh, yes, my background, I started in uh, hospital uh, procurement and actually hospital materials management and logistics. And from there, I moved into uh, city uh, procurement with the city of Palm Springs, California, and then later at the at the county level and also participated in projects at the state level and in the state of California. So my background started out in the private sector, but then I moved into the public sector. And most recently, I've been doing a lot of things in social media. So what is the future of cooperative purchasing? I think one of the big resources that cooperative uh, purchasing uh, provides to especially people in the state and local agencies in the United States is the ability to tag on to a great contract that provide where someone else has done a full uh, uh, request for proposal and has made an award and followed all the rules that are uh, universally kind of acceptable to everyone and they come up with a good contract and then all the other agencies whose rules allow them to participate in that contract can also sign on to that contract and utilize it. It's especially important, I think, for smaller agencies that ha are having a more and more difficult time having the resources to keep up with the uh, changes in the digital environment or just playing the resources to process all the requests for proposals or solicitations they have to where they can rely on a better staffed agency that has maybe specialists in those areas uh, that can come up with a contract and then they can utilize the contract without having to try to reinvent that expertise and maybe not do it as well because of the fact that they don't have the resources to do it. So I think it's, it's a great uh, resource for public procurement overall to really benefit from other people's work and kind of share resources. So the word cooperative is applicable in many levels, but one of the uh, key components of it is sharing resources. Uh, so someone may have expertise in one area, they do a request for proposal in that. Another person has expertise in another level, they do a request for proposal in that. And then everybody benefits because everybody can use the resultant contracts. So. Can you talk about the vendor community and how is, that, how is it impacted? I think the vendor community has to look at what is available in terms of the competition with uh, uh, the impact of cooperative contracts. And they, can, they need to either decide that there's an opportunity for them to get a contract with competition maybe on a national basis with their competitors uh, to successfully compete in that marketplace. And if there isn't, then maybe they want to find more of a niche market. I kind of liken it to the big boxes that took over in grocery stores where, you know, you have uh, huge players and there's uh, entities that can compete successfully in that market but then the ones that can't go into a niche market where maybe they run a deli or a specialty bakery or something like that. So I think it's an opportunity for vendors to look at themselves honestly and see what that sort of, uh, that sort of a market uh, means for them in terms of their own uh, destiny and planning. What about sustainability? How is this uh, related to sustainability? I think that's one of the big resources because you have agencies uh, that really are dedicated to come up with addressing the broader uh, sustainability issues and they come up with a contract that really works in that area and then again everybody can tag on to it and also following up on the other on the other uh, statement I just made about vendors looking at where they can compete, that also creates a niche market because maybe maybe you're not the biggest, but maybe you address the sustainability issues if you're a vendor better than anyone else. And so it's 
it's an opportunity for those sorts of things to go forward in an environment where more and more we're looking at smart, smart everything, smart city, smart government, uh, smart grids. Uh, sustainability is a big issue, and, and if you can get something that works in that and share it with other people uh, that have similar needs and similar uh, uh, goals, that's a huge benefit. Uh, thank you. Uh, do you have any final recommendations? I think that for anyone that's hearing this or, or reading uh, the results of this that hasn't looked into opportunities for cooperative purchasing, it's, it's well worth their time to look at it because I think it's going to be more and more important in the public procurement world, especially at the state and local lo world and or, uh, level in the future. Thanks for sharing today, Hal. Thank you, Dustin. My pleasure.